What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Charles Enoch. You know, we're back with another Invest in Myself episode. So we're going to go ahead, run the intro. Okay, so last week we talked about paying off your loan, using a line of credit, then just paying back that line of credit. With that specific scenario, we saw how to avoid all the interest that the loan was charging us. And we did that by essentially just transferring the balance to our line of credit. But one thing we didn't do was calculate how much interest was being charged on the line of credit. So in this episode, we'll learn how to calculate simple interest and how it truly saves us money. So you know we have the whiteboard in the back, but before we go ahead and tackle the lesson, please do me a huge favor smash that like button for me. Go ahead, make that thing turn blue. Also, if you're new to the channel, go ahead, just take a little time, hit that subscribe button for me. I really do appreciate those that do because it does help me reach a higher audience base. All right, enough of the talk. Let's hit this whiteboard, learn how to calculate simple interest. Let's go. All right, so we're on the whiteboard and real quick, I just wanted to recapture the scenario that we went through with somebody traditionally just paying off their loan, basically. So we have the income of $3,000, expenses $2,800, cash flow $200, loan was $3,600, and the minimum per month on that loan was about $100 a month. The interest was $80 goes to interest and $20 goes to the principal. And this individual, they use the $200 cash flow pretty much to be paying uh, the loan off. And like we see here, every month that $80 of interest was applied. So for that year, interest was charged like $960. Again, I know this would be a very crazy high personal loan, maybe 25, 30%, but some of you guys really do have those type of crazy loans and are pretty much using this method to try to pay it off and you're getting charged a lot of interest. So we're just, looking at the basic concepts of things. So that was kind of the first scenario. If you haven't watched the previous video of how we use the line of credit to pay off the loan, you want to do so before continuing this video. All right, so now we're on the scenario of how to calculate the interest when we paid off the loan using our line of credit. So let's get down to business here. Again, it's the same scenario. The income is $3,000 a month. I did break it down. We're gonna say this individual is getting paid bi-weekly or every two weeks here. So week one and two is 1,500. Week three and four is 1,500. The expenses per month is 2,700. Remember, after we pay that line of credit off, because our expenses was 2,800, then when we pay that loan off, that means that it frees up a hundred extra dollars. So this is why the expenses are a hundred dollars less. And how I did the expenses, we broke it in half, just like the bi-weekly payment. So week one and two of the expenses, this individual needs to pay $1,350, weeks three and four, $1,350. All right, and then we have the cash flow. It's gonna be $300 per month. We broke that cash flow down uh, bi-weekly every two weeks here. So week one and two, it's $150 cash flow. Week three and four is $150 cash flow. Now this individual has a line of credit of $6,000 and we use the interest rate that's pretty high for a line of credit. We use 15% interest rate to see how to calculate that. Now remember, we took out 3,600 from our line of credit to pay off the loan that was charging us $80 of monthly interest. All right, perfect. So we're gonna start breaking this down in regards to how to calculate simple interest on your line of credit. So the scenario, let's say it's, it's January 1st and the individual used that $3,600 from the line of credit and instantly paid off the loan January 1st. Now this individual gets paid every two weeks. So on the second week is when this individual is going to get that $1,500. So 
for January week one and two, our debt is $3,600 onto that line of credit. Now we need to figure out what the interest will be for that week one and two, because for every day that you have that $3,600, interest is accruing. So we're gonna look at the equation down here to figure out how much interest this individual is gonna be paying for week one and week two. So we have our line of credit of $3,600 and we're gonna multiply this by the IR, which is our interest rate, which is 15%. So for the 15%, you're gonna put 0 0.15. So 3,600 times 0.15, we're gonna divide that by 365 because there's 365 days in a year. And that's gonna equal that we're paying $1.47 DI, which is daily interest. So every day, $1.47 is accruing when this balance is $3,600. Now, what we're gonna do is take that $1.47 of daily interest, we're gonna times that by 14, 14 days, and we're gonna get an interest of $20.71. So if we look here, week one and two, our debt was $3,600. We paid $20.71 in interest. That was accruing for the interest. Now, when that check drops, he's going to put the $1,500 onto the line of credit, and then he has to pay his expenses. So he's going to draw $1,350 out of the line of credit to pay for the expenses. This will leave the individual with $3,450. So for week three and four, I know that I have two and three. That was a mess up here. So for week three and four, the debt's gonna be $3,450. All right, so I did get a switch for three and four, so we get no confusion. But the next step here, we're gonna see how much interest is gonna be accruing when the balance is $3,450 for weeks three and four. So we're gonna go to our equation and our line of credit is $3,450. We're gonna times that by the interest rate of that 15%. We're gonna divide that by 365, and our daily interest is gonna be $1.41 that's accruing every single day when the balance is $3,450. Now we know that we get paid every 14 days here, so we're gonna take $1.41 times 14 days, that will equal $19.84 of interest that accrued. So the interest total for both of those, for all four weeks is gonna be $40.55. Now remember with the loan, we were paying $80 of interest every single month. So this is pretty much cut in half. And we can just imagine with this little baby loan of $3,600, how much we would actually be saving when we're, let's say, paying off a car loan or even a house mortgage. If we're reducing the interest by half, that's a lot of interest being saved. All right, so we're in the month of February. Remember, on week four, at the end of the month, we got that income of $1,500 and we have to pay those expenses of $1,350. So again, when that income comes in that $1,500, you're gonna put that into your line of credit, you're gonna take out the $1,350. This leaves us with that cash flow of $150. So coming the beginning of February, our debt is gonna be $3,300. Remember our cash flow is 300 per month for that month that 300 got applied there. So that's how we're getting to that $3,300. So we want to figure out how much interest we are going to be accruing when the balance is $3,300 for two weeks until we get that next paycheck. All right, so we're going to go down to the equation. Our line of credit is $3,300. We're going to times that by the interest rate of 
15%, so that's 0.15, divided by 365 days. There's 365 days in a year, and this is going to leave us the daily interest of $1.35 that is accruing every single day when that is the amount that's on the line of credit. Now, we're going to take that $1.35 times it by 14 until we get our next check. We're going to be paying $18.98 for those two weeks. So if we look at the equation, debt $3,300, the interest $18.98. All right, so we're on week three and four. Remember, we got that paycheck that came in after the end of week one and two, and the paycheck is $1,500. Remember our expenses for that week, $1,350. So we're putting that income into our line of credit, and then we're gonna be taking the $1,350 out to pay for our expenses. This leaves the debt for that week are those two weeks, three and four, at $3,150. Now we need to see how to calculate the interest that will be accruing when our line of credit is that amount. So let's look at the equation. So we have our line of credit, $3,150. We're gonna times that by the interest rate of 15%, 0.15, divide that by 365, because it's 365 days in a year. And we're gonna get a daily interest of $1.29. Now the next step, we're gonna times that $1.29 by 14 days or two weeks until we get our next check. And the interest that would accrue is $18.12 for those two weeks. So if we look at the board, if we combine both of those uh, two weeks there, we would see $37.10 that we pay in interest. Remember, for the loan, we were paying $80 in interest. So we see that the interest is decreasing. So if we get the visual for every single month, we know that we're gonna pay a lower and lower and lower amount of interest until we pay the line of credit off. Now I did only use the two months, but if we think about it here, if the debt is $3,600 on our line of credit, and we're putting $300 in every single month, that would take us 12 months or a year to pay that line of credit off. We do have to take account of the interest that is accruing, so that would be pretty much an extra month that we would pay. So it would take 13 months to pay off that $3,600 loan. If we recall, the interest that we paid on the loan for one year in that example was about $900. And we didn't even pay the loan off. All right, so now that we have that understanding, there was just a couple things I wanted to put on the board to give a more in-depth, realistic visualization of what we saved and if everything was comparable to each other here. So TI, the total interest on the line of credit, if we did every single month of what we would pay in interest, it would equal $259 I did round up. So it would be $259 of interest paid, pretty much to pay off that $3,600 when it's on your line of credit and you're paying that down. Now the total interest, the TI total interest on the loan, if the loan was 15% interest and it was amortized for 12 months for the year, the total interest you would pay is $300 on the loan, which doesn't seem that big of a difference, but the minimum payment on the loan that you would have to pay is $320. And remember on that example, the cash flow before we use the line of credit to pay off the loan, we only had a $200 cash flow. So you wouldn't even be able to make the minimum payment on that loan. So again, I just wanted to give kind of that brief realization where somebody would be like, hey, well, if the loan is 15% interest 
and I just did it for the year, I mean, wouldn't it be the same interest that's paid? No, it would not be. This is amortized, this is simple, and the minimum payment on there, you're not, you can't even make the minimum payment. So again, hopefully this video was very helpful. If you guys liked it, definitely smash that like button for me. Leave a comment down below. Um, just tell me that I'm doing an awesome job. It really does help me keep going, help me keep teaching and preaching this knowledge to other people. Also, if you're new to the channel and you didn't hit that subscribe button at the beginning, go ahead and hit that subscribe button now. It really does help the algorithm and I really do appreciate it. And like always, hopefully you guys have a good weekend. Stay safe. Peace out.